What's up, YouTube? It's me, Jefferson Chow, back at it again with Restaurant Critic. Um, today, I want to talk about this place I went to, a Cuban restaurant called Cubo. The restaurant's yeah. on Southeast Hawthorne. If you don't know Hawthorne, it's a diverse hipster place where every race is hipster. You know, the street is filled with local businesses, couple, you know, corporation restaurants, um, couple corporation um, grocery stores, but mostly it's all local businesses. Um, there's residential areas all over the place. People live around that area, mostly whites, but when you walk around that town, all you see is just diverse people that are hip. Right, and I just want to make one thing clear. Hipster to me is like, you do you, and I do me, type of deal. So, whenever you see something that, you know, a hat with a hole on it, that's hip. You know, so that, but that's, you know, whatever you feel, whatever you feel like. It's, it's acceptance, you know. People accept people for who they are, what they are. I went to this restaurant called Cubo, and... I went there with Brittany and Max, and during that time, it was really quiet during lunchtime. Not not a lot of people go in there, but when you walk in there, like you can feel the culture inside the restaurant. You can the walls are filled with. I wouldn't call them graffiti. I would call them acceptance. You know, except people are tagging their name that they were there. People were tagging what they were doing there. A couple phone numbers couple, you know, colorful words that were said on the walls, but mostly there were people tagging that they came to Cubo, it's the best place in the world. Um, when you walk in there, there's like this culture that you feel like of Cuba, you know, besides the Cuban flag, you hear Cuban music, you feel, you see Cuban artwork, you know, it just feels like you're a part of Cuba. You know, when you go outside to the, uh, they have an outside seating area outside, and it's just filled with like this hipster Cuban way, you know, trying to fit their culture in with the culture of Hawthorne. And I thought that was really cool of what they were doing. You know, it is a self served restaurant, they just bring your food, you do everything else yourself. But the atmosphere and the vibe that you get, you feel like you're not in Hawthorne. You feel like you are in Cuba. You know, the walls are decorated with words and it makes me feel like like people want to mark their place in this restaurant. Um, what I saw on the one writing that I saw that was like really that stood out to me was it said we bravely we braved snow apocalypse 2014 for the best food in town worth it. What does that mean? Well, to me, I think that means acceptance. Acceptance, like, the community accepted that restaurant, and the restaurant accepted the community. I don't know about how anyone else feels when you go to a restaurant, but to me, Experience and acceptance are the two main things when you go into a restaurant. You know how when you have a waiter that looks at you weird, like, oh, why are they doing that like that? Or, oh, look at the way they eat, you know. But I really felt like going to this restaurant, that the Cuban experience in the restaurant was acceptance. Like, we accept hipsters here, whoever you are, however you are, we accept you. If you want to tag on our walls, we accept that because we want you to be you. We want you to be safe. So, to me, this Cuban restaurant made Hawthorne hipsters feel safe. Like, it was a safe place to come to this restaurant. And that's the point I want to make with church. We tend to go to church telling secrets. We don't, we all have a secret when we go to church, right? We want to show the best of us. We never want to tell people who we really are, what we, how we really feel. We just want to keep that a secret and tell that person something else. Well, you know, this restaurant makes church look bad.
you know, from the words of Motley Crue on the wall to people saying, if you want a good time, call this number. It just, it just makes church, how are we as church, right? You go into a church, how do you feel? Do you feel accepted? Do you feel like you really are? You can be who you are in the church. I'm going to tell you honestly, sometimes I don't feel like I feel accepted being who I am in the church. I have to be another person, especially in the Korean church. Right? I'm not Korean. I'm Chinese. But I go to a church that's a different culture. That their culture is focused on respect. Now, you can't be you, right? And when you're not you, you don't you don't want to be loud, you don't want to be happy. You want you're paranoid, you just you look everywhere, make sure you dot your I's, cross your T's, right? Make that little hook on the cue, right? But sometimes we don't want to do that, right? We want a I without a dot. We want a T without a perfect cross, right? I mean this restaurant shows that, that they accept the community and the community accepts their culture and their food. Now, given that the food, I mean, to me, maybe because I, I'm, I'm Asian or I don't know what it is, but it wasn't like the best food that I ever had. But the atmosphere and the presence and you know, just the place just made you feel safe and made you feel welcome. And, you know, you can be whoever you want to be there. You know, I was standing there filming, filming. Nobody said anything. They were cool about it. Um, we were walking around, just hanging out. The owner was just doing his own thing, turning up the music, dancing while, while taking orders, you know. He was being more honest, being himself. To make people feel safe than for others to just feel awkward and not knowing what to do, you know? I feel like church needs to reevaluate themselves how they accept people. You know, we talk about how we have all sinned. So we have all sinned and we surrender ourselves to Christ. We accept Christ as our Savior, right? So, why are we not being ourselves still? We're not being ourselves because we don't feel accepted. We don't feel safe in the church. And it's kind of funny how a Cuban restaurant makes someone feel safe than the church does. Maybe we're not doing something right. You know, in Romans 5, 15, 7, it says, Accept one another, then just as Christ accept you in order to bring praise to God. I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like we're not doing that. I personally accept everyone. I accept everyone because I know how it feel to be not accepted. Right? Maybe it's important to show who we really are and not just the Christ image we show at church. Have you ever felt awkward hanging out with church members because you felt judged or uncomfortable? Did you still show your true self or were you different? If you were able to show your true self, what would church be like? Next time you go to church, think about how you act in church and ask yourself if you feel comfortable. Do you feel accepted in church? Maybe the Cubo restaurant understood how to bring praise better than church. Maybe they just knew how to accept people. So till next time, guys, we'll have another restaurant critic review. Peace out.